Hello. Welcome to YouTube. This video section is all about how to configure voice evacuation frame manufactured by TOA Electronics for public addressing system and how to integrate fire alarm system with public addressing system. Without any ado, let's start the video. First of all, we need to install VX3000 settings software provided by manufacturer. When you unbox evaluation frame, you will find a CD. Insert CD into PC CD drive. Then go to my computer and open CD drive. Here, you will find three folders. Manual. Setting software. Supplementary tools. If you like to read manuals, go through with that. Let's open settings software folder and install the software by dual clicking on setup file. To get updated VX3000 settings software, link available in description. Now let's close this window and go to desktop. Open VX3000 settings software by clicking on its desktop icon. Select Administrator. Then, click on Start. Type Password as Administrator. Then, click on Start to log in. This is main screen of the software. Go to Maintenance from top menu. Then, select Unit Detection and Network Settings. A new window will open. Click on Find Units. It will take few moments and detect all the units connected in the network. It has found a unit which I have connected. Once it's detected, you can see its default IP address and other parameters. To change IP credentials, click on Founded Unit. On right side of the window, you can change parameters of the unit, like IP address, subnet mask, unit name, and etc. Once you change all parameters, click on Update Settings. If you have more than one units, to identify the particular unit, click on I'm here. That selected particular unit, make buzzer for identification. Once you've finished IP configuration, close this window and change the IP address of the PC according with unit IP address. Now, let's go maintenance again for clock and other settings. Then, click on maintenance. A new window will open. Then, click on system detection. This time, it will detect unit as per new IP address if you change its IP credentials earlier. I have not changed unit IP, so it's showing default IP. Then, click on receive the clock from PC. Then, click on change the clock of unit. A new pop-up window will open. As task completed, click on OK. It will synchronize time with PC. If you like to change password for unit login, you can change it from here. Now let's minimize this window. And, go to main window, in the basic settings. Change, settings for fault detection function, not used to use. This settings to detect fault operations in evacuation frame. Then, change, settings for emergency broadcast function, not used to use. This settings for fire alarm interface with public addressing system. Then, change, settings for system combination, not used to use. This settings to make integrate more than one voice evacuation frames. We will see that, in upcoming events. Keep other settings as default. Now go to communication, from top menu. Then. Click on Setting Data and Audio Source Upload PC to VX. It means to send our configuration from PC to unit. You are now connecting it from the maintenance window. Is it okay to disconnect to connected units if you continue operations? It means we have already connected the unit through maintenance tab earlier. To connect from here, we need to disconnect there. Just click on OK, it will automatically disconnect there and 
Connect here. System reset will be executed after data transmission is completed. Current broadcast will be terminated, and the system will be started in initial status. It's asking for permission to restart the unit after data send, and if any operations are running on unit, it will stop and run the unit as per new configuration. Click on OK. Current settings data must be stored before starting to send. Please press OK button to store and send the data. When press the cancel button, data transmission will be terminated automatically. Click on OK to save data. A new pop-up window will open. Select location and click on save. There is an error, that is, unable to connect to PC setting software control port. To overcome this error, click on OK. Then, go to Unit Configuration Settings. Then, click on Receiving the Unit Configuration. From this option it will connect to Unit, and, receive settings from Unit, if any as default. Then, select Target Unit, from Found Units list. Then, click on OK. A new pop-up window will open as task completed, click on OK. Current setting data will be set to an initial value by this operating. Do you want to save present settings files? Click on Yes. A new pop-up window will open, Save Present Settings. Now go back to Basic Settings. And, change the setting as earlier. Now let's try to upload settings to unit. To do that, go to communication. Then, select settings data and audio source upload PC to VX. Click on OK. Again click on OK. Save the file. It's asking password to upload configuration file to unit. Type password. Then, click on OK. A new pop-up window will open. Here we can see the configuration uploading to unit. Once task completed, click on OK. Now let's go for other settings. Go to system combination. This option is used for combining more than one units. We will see this option in upcoming events. Go to unit configuration settings. Here we can select our unit. Click on Unit. Here you have three different unit type. Select which you have installed. I installed VX3008F. Next, if you have added any extension, select how many extension added. Then, Power Supply Settings. If you are connected power supply in network, then, you can use this option. I'm not using this option. Then, Amplifier Settings. If you are using any standby amplifier, Change it, not used to use. Actually standby amplifier is used for backup. If any amplifier break down, this standby amplifier will start working automatically, without any interruption. Next. Select amplifier, by slots unit type, and, speakers line voltage. Amplifier 1, I have installed in frame is, VXD50DA. Select as per your installation. Then, select speaker voltage line. 100 volts, 70 volts, or 50 volts, it is depend on the speaker, you're installed. I will select 100 volts, as per my installation. Repeat for amplifier 2, and, standby slots, if you use it. Now we have finished VX configuration settings. Next, go to settings for audio input. VX 3008F have 4 analog input, if you like to change name, on this analog 01, to any. Just type it here. Then, select purpose input like line, mic, ANC line, and, ANC mic. Change other settings according to your site. Then, go to settings for audio output. Here you have to give names for each zone. For example zone 1 connected at main hall, and, Zone 2 connected at room 1, like this you can change names according to design. Then, 
select zone settings, if it is using make it use, or, not using change it. And check other settings according to the site. Then, go to settings for terminals. Here we have 16 control input, 16 control output, and, 2 emergency control inputs. We can change all the settings from here. Once you finish all this configuration, click on OK. This video section will finish at this point. Next we will have second part for continuing VX3000 configuration, like adding RM, remote microphone, and, fire alarm integration etc. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe to my channel. Check description for part 2 link.